All right, my brother, in this video, we're going to talk about the number one mistake men make when they start a new relationship with a woman. And you've probably done this yourself. And later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to remedy the mistake if you've gotten yourself into it, and how you can turn this around just like that. In fact, most transformation that guys can have or people can have can be done in a matter of weeks. Traumas, PTSD, these type of things with the right tools, right modalities, right mindsets, and right amount of willpower and decision-making certainty, you can get things handled within a couple, three weeks. It doesn't take that long. You just gotta dive into your problems and have the right tools to fix it. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray to Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. Most people over time, they lose themselves in the relationship. Now, what does that mean? Well, think about it. When you first get together with somebody, you hit this honeymoon phase. And that honeymoon phase, if you're really into each other, is completely intoxicating. And so you just want to lean into it more and more and more. You spend more time together. You sleep together more. You start enmeshing each other's lives together even more. And you get addicted to this intoxicating relationship. And so this is just the honeymoon phase. This is just a short window of time that happens in the beginning. It's a chemical cocktail that makes you feel fucking amazing. People get addicted to it and they want to stay in this pocket as long as possible. And we know from experience that that pocket can last anywhere from like maybe nine months to like up to two years if it's a really good relationship. And so people, they hinge their entire relationship outlook on how hard and how deep they get into that honeymoon phase with somebody. And then when they're there, they try to stick in that, right? Even Whitney Houston says that, right? I want to love that last. It burns so hot it lasts forever, pretty much is what she's saying, right? And so this is a fallacy. This isn't true, and it shouldn't be something that you rely on. And so you lose yourself in this space. You get intoxicated in this place. You want to stay there forever. You get addicted to it. The problem is, is when it starts to wane, now you start having relationship problems. You start questioning why you're with this person because the drug's starting to wear off, and you can't get that high anymore. And so you're like, well, what's going on? Maybe something's wrong with the relationship. There's nothing wrong with it. You just lean so far into the intoxicating honeymoon phase that now you're addicted to it and you push everything else out of your life in order to stay into that addiction. So what ends up happening, you start getting resentment and burnout from the person. You try to be everything that person wants you to be because they're telling you that you're not being the kind of guy you used to be. So you try to do everything you can to try to make this person happy. And so you start getting burned out. You're doing more and more and more for this person, but it's never enough. But on the flip side of it, you're starting to resent them and hate them and get angry at them because nothing you're doing is working and, and they're also not doing what you want. And so then you start having all these collisions about what your needs are and even if, if you're even compatible anymore and if you sh are even a good match. And because you're having all these collisions and you're not coming together in intimacy, you start having this loss of attraction. Whereas before, it didn't matter how you looked, your woman thought you were the hottest guy ever. Now she's like starting to question your weight. She's starting to question your height. She's starting to question the way you dress. And you're like, well, what's going on? This wasn't a problem six months ago. And it's because you leaned so far into the honeymoon phase that you forgot to see the person right in front of you. And she did the same thing. And so where she was just glossing over everything before, now she's picking you apart and looking at all the things that are wrong because she's not feeling this certain way. She's not staying in that addicted space. The medicine's wearing off. And this is where the codependency starts. Hey, you're making me angry. You're making me upset. You're making me mad. And I, you're making me sad. And the guy's like, you're right, I am. I'm doing those things. I'll try better. I'll try to be different. And it's like you start taking on each other's problems. In other words, she says, the way I feel, the way I'm attracted to you, and all the stuff that has to do with you is your fault. My guy, he is, he's the one who is in control of my entire emotional state. And I'm going to tell him that. So when I'm angry, it's his fault. When I'm upset, it's his fault. If I'm sad, it's his fault. And then he turns around and goes, oh, she's upset. I got to fix it. Oh, she's angry. I must have done something wrong. I got to fix it. And he tries to fix her emotional state all the time, thinking that if he can be her source of happiness perpetually, she will love him forever. The problem is the responsibility was never his. The responsibility was on her. And so he ends up betraying himself just to get more validation and approval from her. And so you get to this place with your partner, with your woman, where you're saying, okay, well, I don't know if I want to be with her anymore, but I'm going to keep sitting in this place and I'm still keep doing those things because of one reason. I'm afraid I'm going to lose her. I'm still addicted and I want to get back to that honeymoon place that we used to be. How do we get back to that place? without actually doing the work required to keep yourself sovereign and not get wrapped up in losing yourself in a relationship. And so you're afraid of losing this person because it's the best you ever felt. You feel that you'll never get it again. 
And so you become emotionally dependent on this person. And she becomes emotionally dependent on you. And then you're both miserable in this codependent relationship where the honeymoon phase has waned and you didn't have any supporting foundation that you could rely upon. You were just so enamored with the honeymoon phase and the addiction of it that when it starts to wane, you're like, I don't know how to, da- I don't know how to handle this. I don't know how to navigate it. I mean, I still love her. But like all the problems don't like all the problems are coming up now, and I don't know how to navigate these. I try to talk to her about it, and she won't listen. She talks to me about things, and it just pisses me off. But because you're in this toxic situation, you start becoming insecure. Things that you were good at before, you start to question. Ways that you were operating before, you just don't have the confidence in because you're failing with your partner all the time, and she's telling you you're failing, and you have no idea how to turn it around. And the thing is, you keep chasing after this thing that was. You don't see the woman that's right in front of you. And so by making your relationship, losing yourself in this relationship, it becomes your life. It becomes your God. Having this honeymoon phase becomes the thing for you. And you do anything to stay in that pocket. But you can't because it doesn't exist forever and it's not supposed to. You're supposed to build a real relationship outside of that. And so when the relationship starts to wane and she starts to blame you and then you start to believe it and you don't push back and you keep trying to chase after this, this insecurity starts to really take root within you. All right, so how do you avoid this happening to you? Like, how do you prevent it from happening? And if you're in the middle of this situation, how do you turn it around? The first thing is you don't lose your head in the relationship. You can feel all those honeymoon phase feelings and really leverage them. You can use a lot, you can use those to really produce in your work and make new friends and really get out there and increase your social network. But at the same time, don't lose your head. Just see it for what it is. You're feeling great and that's what it is. And when that's happening, don't gloss over the things that are going on with the person. Like actually critically look at them and objectively and say, is this actually good compatibility with me? Is this woman a good match for me? And so the thing is you have to kind of have a separation between the honeymoon phase feelings and your head. You can't lose your fucking head. Don't get so enraptured in the situation that you just can't find your way out of it. If you want to change it, you want to make a shift in your relationship, is stop focusing so much on the relationship. Stop focusing on her and trying to make her happy and go pursue your dreams. Find something that's worthwhile in your life. Find a compelling vision. Or maybe if you have like a calling from God, go do that. It doesn't really matter. It just has to be compelling for you. It has to be something that excites you and it makes you want to move forward. If you don't have something exciting that you're building and going towards in your life, you're going to wither as a man. And you have to start getting wins in this endeavor. And you have to win often. Guys need to win every day in something. Guys thrive on winning. You can have so many losses, but it wears on you, makes you insecure, starts to hollow you out as a man. And typically, when we're going in the wrong endeavor, we're going in the wrong direction, we'll start losing a lot. When you're going in the right direction with God or serendipity, you'll find that doors of opportunity open for you and you start winning a lot easier. And when you're not going in the right direction, they start to close and it gets harder and harder and harder. And when she tempts you into coming back and losing yourself, and you can see that she's losing herself in a relationship, you got to start setting some boundaries. Like, no, we got to create some separation here. I'm not going to put my friends away. I'm not going to stop going to the gym. I'm going to still crush it in my business. And I'm going to spend time with my children. You cannot get on to me or even try to make me feel guilty for spending time. If that happens, if she does that shit, just break up with her right then and there. I see this happen to way too many guys. Got too many times. I see guys that get a divorce, they go through a break, and start dating this woman, and this woman starts getting jealous of his kids. And this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. You would think she would know better. And if this happens to you, just dump her. She is not relationship material. She is only a good time girl. Any woman who gets jealous of your children has a, a screw loose in her perspective in life. She is not a good match for anybody who has children. Make sure you maintain your friendships. Don't lose your friendships. Don't lose the people that matter to you in your life. Keep your emotional support network. In other words, you should be able to operate inside your relationship as if you were not in your relationship. Don't let anything change. The life that you built before this relationship needs to maintain. You have to have that. That is your foundational material for like your emotional support network and the things and passions that are really good to you. Most guys let all this shit go because time problems with their kids or their wife nags on them. And guys don't have much strong backbone or boundaries in their life and they just let all this other stuff intrude on their life but you won't do that you'll stay very strong in what you want to do and where you want to go and why you want to do it and you won't let anybody get in there and and change it on and when you are in this relationship don't get complacent and say okay i've made it i'm in this honeymoon phase this is awesome this is everything i ever wanted this is the woman for me this is the woman of my dreams so i don't have to do anything anymore i'm good i can finally relax no you can't You can't relax. In fact, as a man, you should get used to the notion of there's never completion in anything in life. 
You're not going to complete anything. All the shit that you build is going to fall away. You're going to be forgotten after you're a great grandfather. Nobody's going to fucking remember you when you die. You got to get used to these things. All the cool shit you built is going to be forgotten. It's going to fall away. All the money you made after two to three generations is probably going to be gone. And so you have to realize that when you're out there doing cool shit in the world, you're doing it for you. You're doing it for your own eternal spiritual expansion. You're doing it for God. And when you bring a woman into your life, it has to match that. It has to fit in this mold. If it doesn't, well, you're going to find yourself on the other side of this place called complacency. And she's going to leave you. You're going to be miserable. You're going to be in a codependent situation. You're not going to feel free at all. You're going to feel restricted as fuck. And you're going to wonder, like, how I wish I was a free man again. Oh, it was so good to be single. Oh, man, don't get married. You're just like, life ends at marriage. It's like, yeah, that's because you married a woman and you let yourself get tied down by a bunch of bullshit. Because, well, you weren't that strong to begin with. If you want to be fucking strong, then it's a choice. It's simply a choice. You don't have to put up with any of the shit in your life that you're putting up with unless you really want to. Most guys are like, well, I don't really have a choice. Like, you do. You could walk away from everything right now if you really wanted to. Don't pretend like you couldn't. Don't be a victim and say that life just happens to you. You created everything that you're in right now. Everything. It's all a series of your choices. So if you want to be in a relationship or you want to be in a situation where you're not getting validation from your woman, you're able to validate yourself so that you're never insecure around women. You can talk to anybody, feel comfortable in your skin. No matter what you're doing, check out this video right here. If you like this video, hit the like button so other people will see it on their feed. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. I'll see you later.